there's a continuum when it comes to diets, okay? Um, there's extremely pro-inflammatory, pro-illness diets, like the standard American diet, like the uh, the meat-based keto diet. Those are disease-causing diets, right? Um, high amounts of animal products, um, processed foods, all those kind of things, dairy, all those things are going to dramatically increase your levels of disease. Then there are less inflammatory diets. AIP is a less inflammatory diet. You get rid of dairy, you get rid of processed foods, right? You eat a better quality of meat if you do that. A lot of people say they're AIP, but they still don't like exclusively eat free range or whatever, but it's less inflammatory. And that's why so many people feel better, right? You get rid of the most inflammatory foods that you're eating before, or the processed foods, dairy, stuff like that, feel better. For some people, that's good enough for them. They go into a remission or their symptoms are more manageable and they're happy. Um, but then there is even better, right? There's less inflammatory and then there's anti-inflammatory. So a plant-based diet is going to be less inflammatory if it's not a processed plant-based diet, but a plant-based diet where you're eating vegetables and grains and beans and things like that. It's, it's, it's not inflammatory. And so people feel really good on that or better, but it's still not anti-inflammatory necessarily. What I'm teaching is pure anti-inflammatory. This is the most anti-inflammatory way you can possibly eat. It doesn't mean you need to always eat that way. It means it's optimal for disease reversal. So anti-inflammatory in, in terms of the most nutrient-dense foods with the highest levels of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, all the things you use for cellular repair, those are in cruciferous and dark leafy greens. That's why it's such a big component of my diet, right? It's because that's the biggest dose. You're going to use food as medicine, get a high dose. That's anti-inflammatory. It's going to clean up cellular repair. Omega-3s are directly anti-inflammatory. They create your anti-inflammatory immune system, right? High doses of that. It's going to cut down your inflammation quickly. All the, all of the inflammation requires water for all of those processes to actually happen, those reactions to happen to eliminate inflammation. So when you're following hypernourishment, that is the most anti-inflammatory way you could possibly eat. It's the most extreme anti-inflammatory way of eating there is. Okay. And if you're still sick or you want to get better faster, then stop eating the things you get that make you sicker. I call it the Paula Abdul. I was born in the seventies. So like the music of the eighties is kind of my music. You know, Paula Abdul, the two steps forward, you know, two steps forward. I take two steps back. You know that song? If you want to stop staying sick, then maybe stop going healing foods, inflammatory foods, healing foods, inflammatory foods. Let's stop dancing when it comes to our healing. Dance for joy, but don't don't dance your way sick. So if you want to stop doing the Paula Abdul, then go full in, get rid of the meat products, stick to the plant-based products, hyper-nourish yourself, get healthy. And then if you want to dabble in inflammatory foods sometimes after that, you always have that as your choice.